What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about how skill boost works. I think lots of players have the impression that it'll just add some attributes to your players, so let's see if it works like that. And of course, we'll talk about some other stuff as well related to this one. By the way, this one here is not my typical video that almost everything will undergo a test. There will be some parts here that will be just smart assumptions. So try to watch the video fully so it'll make full sense, because if you miss some parts, you might miss the whole point of the video. It's not going to be that long anyway. And since this one here is kind of a controversial topic, please let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you think something needs to be changed or it's just fine? So the main question here is, does it add any attribute? To find that out, I'll be using the same method that I used on Floor General. I'll be using Momentum Cross as a metric. For those who don't know, if you have 60 and lower ball handles, you can't do the Momentum Cross. You need to have at least 61 ball handles. And in here, I have 60 ball handles, so I only needed plus one. And in here, even I have a playmaking boost, I can't still do the Momentum Cross. Which means the skill boost won't give you even plus one on your attributes. So now you might ask, Toots, does that mean that skill boost doesn't do anything at all? <laughs> of course I believe it does something. It's just not in the form of a direct plus one or plus two or whatever to your attributes. There will be some other variables under the hood that skill boost touches. Like for example, who knows maybe on playmaking, maybe it will give you more ball security. Who knows what exactly it is. But the main point here is that it's not a direct plus one plus two because I think lots of players think it works like that. So now you might be wondering, who cares if it's an attribute boost or not? It's actually important to know this as well because attributes are gateway to animations. Just like on your dribbling, there are some thresholds that unlocks new animations. So it could be game changing if it does. Now for the next one, now that we know that it's not an attribute boost, then how much is the boost? Or how much skill boost affects our players? This one here is more of a smart assumption only, but I'm really positive that the boost is not much. I'll show you these. This Gatorade Thirst Quencher, which costs around 500 VC each, will only give you the stamina boost, which is not much to be honest. So what more on a skill boost, which costs only 200 VC, and sometimes it's even free. So if you think about it, it just makes sense that you won't get much from it. Just a rough estimation, I think it's even lower than a bronze badge. And on top of that, there's a reason why lots of players complain that with or without a boost, they feel the same thing. That's just because the boost is so small. Just by combining these two, the feedback from other players, plus my Gatorade analogy, it just makes sense that the boost is really small. So now for the summary, the boost on skill boost is not that much, and it's not on the form of a direct attribute boost. So don't expect so much from it. So again, please let me know in the comment section any feedback about it. Do you think it's just right, or do you think the boost should be more? So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button, and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.